Hello everyone, your intellectual movie guru here, and welcome to a new movie review. And because it is October, we're going to be celebrating Halloween with The Nightmare Before Christmas. It came out in 1993, and had an interesting cast. Of course, as people know, this is a Tim Burton film, so it has its own little dark twist to it. Plus, two things that not many people know is that Tim Burton did the voice of Zero, the ghost dog. And also, Jack Skellington was voiced by two people. He was mainly voiced by Chris Sarandon, but the singing was done by Danny Elfman. Imagine that. But enough talking about this and that. Let's get straight into the deep stuff. Alright, so what is this movie about? Well... In the ancient holiday worlds, the king of Halloween, Jack Skellington, has had enough. Every year it's the same thing. Screams, scares, horrors, blah, blah, blah. He so desperately wants something different and eventually wanders out into Christmas land. He is tremendously enamored with this new thing that he's run into. He loves the concept and feeling he gets from this place and tries to share it with his fellow Halloween creatures. But they misunderstand, thinking of Christmas as a new style of scaring. Eventually, Jack decides to have Halloween Land do Christmas this year. So he gathers everyone in the land and has them work on bringing Christmas Halloween style to the world. He even has Santa Claus kidnapped, claiming that he's doing all this to give Santa a quote-unquote break this year. Unbeknownst to Jack, these three little rascal kids he had capture Santa have sinister plans in mind for the Christmas icon they give him to the Oogie Boogie Man, the most vicious evil creature in Halloween. And Oogie Boogie loves to play deadly games, which he always rigs in his favor. Halloween assembles their version of Christmas and starts to head out. Sally, a shy but free-spirited ragdoll created by the town's mad scientist who loves Jack dearly but has enough sense to realize how wrong Jack's plan is, tries to stop him, but Jack heads out. So Sally decides to take things into her own stitched together hands and heads off to rescue Santa Claus. But things don't go as planned, of course, and Oogie Boogie captures her as well. Jack delivers his sinister brand of Christmas to all children everywhere, giving shrunken heads, demonic toys, killer jack-in-the-boxes, man-eating wreaths, and everything eating snakes. Yes, they literally eat everything. All innocently given, unaware that he's causing even more scares. Jack is too blinded by the simple act and feeling of giving something to the people to see what's happening. A horror that everyone in Halloween Town save for Sally, who hates it. And Oogie Boogie, who's unaware of what's going on, is enjoying greatly. The military is brought in, and Jack is eventually shot down. He lands in a graveyard in the arms of an angel statue. It's there that he finally realizes how badly he has screwed up. But he also realizes what he is good at, and becomes excited at the thoughts of next Halloween. But then he realizes that he has to save Christmas first. Will he save Christmas? Will he save Sally and Santa Claus? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie for yourself. So what would I rate The Nightmare Before Christmas? Well, it's a very nostalgic hit to my soul. And it's very well cast, in my opinion. It has the right amount of seriousness, the right amount of comedy. And I just love dark movies. I love dark movies. And honestly, about 95% of Tim Burton's films, I love them to death. Which, one day I'll probably talk about more Tim Burton films. But this one hits me close to my heart. Because this was a movie that I grew up with. And like I said, everybody was cast perfectly. From Chris Sarandon as Jack Skellington to Catherine O'Hare as Sally. Everybody was perfect in it. So, if I say everything's perfect in it, I gotta give the score. The score is a 10 out of 10. 
The reason for the 10 out of 10, just stated. It hits me straight to my nostalgic heart. The casting was perfect. Had the right amount of seriousness, comedic value, and everything was just done perfectly. I know, I said perfect a lot, but hey, what, what you gonna do? But yeah, I want to let everybody know, thank you so much for coming to the movie review. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Maybe you learned something new. I will see you guys in the next movie review. And until then, I am your intellectual movie guru, and I will see you next time.